We all know that plants have green leaves because they rely on photosynthesis. They use energy from the sun to fix carbon from the atmosphere. My research now suggests that for many plant species, this might be only part of the story. My name is Vincent Merckx and I am a plant scientist. I work for Naturalis Biodiversity Center and the University of Amsterdam. Most plant species transfer some of the carbon they fix by photosynthesis to root-associated fungi. In return, the fungi help them to take up nutrients from the soil. These fungi can form large underground networks, linking plants of different species. Now, deep in the rainforests, there are plant species that have evolved a strategy to take up carbon from these fungal networks. As a result, these plants can grow without any light. Over the past two decades, I have been studying these particular plant species. And they are prime examples of how fungal networks can be used for the transfer of carbon between plants. My hypothesis is that not only rare rainforest plants can take up carbon from these fungal networks, but that many green plant species around the world can use fungi as an alternative source of carbon. In this ERC project, I will determine which plant species can take up carbon from fungal networks and under which conditions this occurs. Not only deep in tropical rainforests, but also in temperate ecosystems, like here in the Netherlands. I will set up experiments in which we can trace this carbon transfer between plants of different species by shared underground fungi. In addition, we will map the fungal networks that connect the different species of plants and that allow for this carbon transfer to occur. And finally, I will reconstruct the evolutionary history of this mode of life in land plants. With this project, I will determine how underground fungal networks can link plants of different species and how these networks can be used by plants to take up carbon and compete and survive in forest ecosystems. <laughs>